Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're doing season number three of the Philadelphia Flyers franchise mode. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of the first two seasons, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back on my channel and do so. So we're going to start here with the 2025 NHL draft, where we went up from seventh to second, and we picked Porter Martone, a right winger, out of the Mississauga Steelhead, 76 overall, medium elite, definitely excited for his future on the team. Didn't pick until the fourth round. And after after that, Kukkonen, O'Sullivan, Union, Riley, C Cowan, Ponzetto, Zidlicki, and Prince are our other picks. Don't really expect them to make much impact on this Philadelphia Flyers roster. So let's take a look at the lines. I'll take you through the one trade we made and the signings in this offseason. So we got Giroux with Frost and Michkov, Tippett with Lindstrom and Farabee, Forrester with Couturier and Brink and Janot with McLeod and Delorier. So Janot was brought in as an unrestricted free agent, two-year deal at $2.5 million per season. Thought that was a pretty solid deal for Janot. No, and us. Tyson Forrester was an RFA. He's brought back on a three-year deal at $2.7 million per season. Caden Lindstrom was brought in in that trade during last year's trade deadline. He's going to be playing second line center. Morgan Frost was an RFA. He was brought back on a six-year deal at $7.25 million. Quite hefty. He's been performing well, though. Claude Giroux was a UFA signing. He was brought in. One-year deal at $8.35 million. Obviously, he's been a flyer for basically his whole career. Thought I would bring him back near the end. See if the Flyers can get back into the playoffs. Ryan McLeod was brought in with a trade in the with the Edmonton Oilers. I'll take you through that right now. We sent out Scott Lawton at half-retained, along with Ryan Paling. And in return, we're going to get Ryan McLeod, a second-round pick, and Matt Vay Petrov. So, Honestly, really like Scott Lawton. Really wish we could have kept him. Couturier's contract's a little bit unmovable at this point. Obviously, want to keep Morgan Frost. We got Lindstrom as well. So I thought it was just time for Lawton to go. On defense, we've got Sandheim with Drysdale. Sealer with York and Martinez with Attard. Attard is coming up from the minors this past year. He's playing in Lehigh Valley. Alec Martinez was brought in a one-year deal at $2.4 million per season. Going to fit nicely on that bottom pair. And then Cam York was an RFA. He was brought back on a five-year deal at $4.9 million. So really like him for that second pair right now. He might even go up to the first pair eventually. Who knows? Our goaltenders are Sam Erson and Igor Zavragin. Really wanted Fedotov to get another crack, but he's sticking at a 79 overall. He'll be playing in Lehigh Valley while Zavragin's only 20. He's already grown to an 84 overall. So hoping he can be a nice 1B to Erson and the Flyers can get into the playoffs this season. So we're here one day before the trade deadline, 61 games into the season. Really good play from the Flyers so far, 77 points, a record of 37-21 in three, second place in the Metro Division, only three points back of the first place Hurricanes. So taking a look at player stats after 61 games, Frost is at 62 points, Couturier 50, Lindstrom 29, McLeod is at 20, on to left winger Giroux 74, Faraby 42, Delorier with 10, right wingers Michkov 71, Tippett 38, Forrester 35, Brink 33, and Janot with 21, defenseman Sanheim 40, Drysdale 32, Martinez 19, York 17, Attard 11, and Sealer with 8, goaltenders Urson goes 26, 15, and 3, 3 shutouts, 908 save percentage and a 3.02 goals against average, while Igor Zavragin 11 and 7, no shutouts, 920 save percentage, and a 2.0. 0.57 goals against average. So the regular season is now complete. Didn't end up making moves with the Flyers at the deadline as the team was doing really well and they end up finishing in third place in the Metropolitan Division with 95 points in a record of 45, 32, and 5 and will be playing the Devils in round one of the playoffs. So taking a look at final stats, on the Philadelphia Flyers, Frost finishes with 76 points, Couturier 63, Lindstrom with 40, McLeod with 23, Giroux finishes with 91, Faraby with 56, right-wingers Michkov led the team 91 points, 50 goals, Tippett 53, Brink 46, Forrester 44, and Janot with 26, defenseman Sanheim 51, Drysdale 37, York and Martinez, 24, Attard with 12, and Sealer with 11, goaltenders Arison goes 31, 23, and 3, 4 shutouts, 904 save percentage, and a 3.2 goals against average, while Igor Zavragin, 14, 10, and 2, 2 shutouts, 922 save percentage, and a 2.54 goals against average. 
So taking a look at the playoff bracket for 2026, disappointing for the Philadelphia Flyers as they get swept by the New Jersey Devils in round one, but the Toronto Maple Leafs will end up winning the Stanley Cup, defeating Florida in round one, Columbus in round two, Carolina in round three, and then Vegas in the Stanley Cup finals. So taking a look at playoff stats for the Flyers, obviously they only played in four games. Couture had four points, Frost with two, Lindstrom with one, McLeod did not record a point, Faraby had four, Giroux had two, right wingers Tippett had five and four goals, Michkov three, Forster and Brink two, Janot with one point, defensemen Drysdale and York had three, Sealer and Sandheim had one, and Martinez and Attard did not record a point, Erson goes zero, one and three, no shutouts, 896 save percentage in a 3.97 goals against average. So taking a look at team and league awards for 2026, Leafs will win the Cup, President's Trophy to the Hurricanes, Clarence Campbell Bowl to the Golden Knights and Prince of Wales to the Maple Leafs individual awards. The Art Ross will go to Stamkos along with the Hart, Norris to Quinn Hughes, Lady Bing to Stamkos, Calder to Macklin Celebrini, Conn Smythe to Austin Matthews, Vesna to Pyotr Kachekov along with the William M. Jennings, Bill Masterton to TJ Brody who's now on the Predators, Philadelphia's coach will win the Jack Adams, so definitely a huge year from us. Selkie goes to Ryan O'Reilly. Ted Lindsay to Steven Stamkos and the Maurice Richard goes to Austin Matthews. Thank you very much for watching this video. Philadelphia Flyers franchise mode season number three. Definitely a step in the right direction. Qualifying for the playoffs. Got swept which is unfortunate but definitely something to build off for this team. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content I'd really appreciate if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.